Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a brand new video. This video is a beefy a challenge video. And this month's theme was uh, construction, which was my choice because I do a lot of construction vehicles. And uh, I've picked this one as an old dumper truck. I do like the old dumper trucks. I learned to uh, drive on a dumper truck. So this is the B Feeder Challenge, as you've probably seen on several different videos that we've uh, a few of us got together, started a channel, and uh, we're doing invitationals bi-monthly. And uh, if you want to join in, get onto the B Feeder Channel, and uh, we'll sign you up. And it uh, later on we'll be. Uh, how can I say it? We'll be getting involved with three blind mice in America. So they'll do one one month and we'll do one next month. And then we'll do a conjunction at Christmas time and various different bits and pieces. So it looks like it's going to be interesting. So if you don't want to miss the boat, sign up on the Beef Eater channel. And uh, you can be part of it. So anyway, here we go. Let's get us off the bench and we'll have a good look at it. Righty oh then. Let's have a look what we've got. What's it got on the bottom? Let's have a look. Dinkies Super Toys Mule Hill Dumper. Tow hook. Proper steel wheels or whatever you call them, metal wheels. Got a hinge on there. Take that off. Got a driver, which is good. Complete driver uh, can't think what we're going to call him we've got tricky trev tango ted we've got jacko uh, i don't know what we're going to call it. anyway we'll think of a name in a bit complete steering wheel which is good this is one reason why i bought it because it was all complete now what we're going to do is got rear steering at the back here which I don't know whether I'm going to take that off or not um, we'll have that driver can come out through there and get drilling there get him out because if I take this axle out of here I'm going to have a job to replace it and get it back but I can't get the base plate off if I don't so I don't know it looks like it's going to have to come off. So we'll see. Right. Not much else I can say about axles are bent. Straighten them out. Oh, that's twist. That's got a twist on that. We'll get these. How much room we got on these wheels? Yeah, we'll get the wheels off in there. Get the wheels off there. there's plenty of room in the back right okay let me get my wizard let me get my wizard boys i've been corrected i must call it a wizard it's not a dremel one of my subscribers i probably he's probably not here anymore he uh he told me that it, I can't call it a Dremel, but it's not a Dremel. So, kudos to you, mate. It's a wizard. So, switch is on. Let's see what we can get here. Is it going to come? Right, a bit more. Oh, no, no, come on, you tow rag. That's 
Well, you can't do it one handed, innit? Like a smart ass. There you go. One out. Where's this end? Well, this is going to be tricky. No, base plate time. Yeah, there's no, there's nothing for me to grab hold of there. There's a little bit there, so what I'm going to do is, this should come out with the base plate off. So we'll get the base plate off. Okie dokie. Come and have a look. I know um, George over at Die Cast Salvage. He done one of these. I maybe ought to have a look at his video before I carry on with this, don't I really? See how we get on with this. Uh, file, file, file. Anyway, like I was saying, this is a beef eater challenge. And uh, it's going to be a challenge every other month. So it's, it's getting a bit of interest. Hopefully a few more people will join. And go over to the beef eater channel. Sign yourself up. It's all a bit of fun. It's invitational. Obviously, if you don't want to do one one month, you don't have to. So, yeah. Should all be a good laugh. See how we got on. Uh, uh, uh. See how we get on. So I'm not going to go all the way down with this. Just going to get myself a star roll. Get myself a star roll. Okay, right. I'm going to get the uh, drill and everything else sorted out, and then we'll get this base off. Okay, we're working away. I did, as you know, I didn't want to take this off. So, pull that rivet, flatten these two heads, and I thought, well, I can get this, and I did actually start to drill this one out. So what I've done, if you do this one, and these two, there's enough spring on this, is to lift that up, and pop our axles out, yeah? That'll save me taking all this off here. And what I can do then is clean this up while I brush it, while I wheel it, clean it up, and uh, I'll paint it all black. And then I'll mask it up to do the yellow. Uh, because I think maybe you're going to have a problem. You have to put a nut and bolt or something in there uh, to deal with this. So I'd rather leave that as it is. No, I'm not a coward. But it just makes it easier for me. And I don't mind putting a bit of masking tape on there. That'll be fine. So I've got to get the uh, drill in there now. Sort that out. So anyway, that's that. So we've got the axle out. So now we've got to get this off. We've got to get this off here now. So let's have a look. See if we can get this off. This is crimped, so I might be able to, I don't think I'll be able to do it with a pair of pliers because these are quite tough, these, these crimps are quite tough. That's my bloody fingers. 
cracking. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it with, a, with, with that. Tell you what, it's not far off coming out, you know. To be honest with you. Oh, there they go, look. That wasn't so bad, was it? So that's that out. That's that off. That's that off. We drill this out now. Turn that out of the way. And give us time to drill this out. Uh, where have we drill? Drill, drill, drill. That's going to want a fairly big one, that isn't it? A biggie one, a biggie one. Oh, that's too big. Ah. Let's have a look. That might do it. That might do it, chaps. I don't normally do drill bases on camera. So I find it a little bit awkward sometimes. But we'll try it anyway. These cameras. I think the drill's about bad, it, I think. I'm going to have to yeah, do a bit more, let's have a look, see. I'll have to get my drill sharpener out, I think. Should have made that a screw fed, shouldn't I really? Right. I'll have to get a bit smaller drill bit in there. See what happens. Go down a bit further. Do -do -do. I think all the drill bits in each other, right? Let's
Right, I've got to get big guns out on this. I'll get back to you when I've got it out, and I'll tell you how I've done it. Okay. Right. Progress report. Yeah, I drilled it, and then I grinded it. I grounded it. I ground it. And I took the head off it, and then just below that is a washer. And then there's a spring. So that must keep the tension on it. And then you can pull the driver out. You can just see the edge of the post there. So obviously then that goes back in, in there, then the spring, and you push that down. Obviously they push that down over the post and then hammered it in but we'll have to do something different we'll probably yeah i might be able to get yeah we'll have a look at that i'll drill the post anyway and see if i can get that pushed down with a set of tweezers then super glue the rivet in that should give it the tension Ooh. right put that in there put that in there put that in there right so that's it that's going to be stripped as is now Okay, paint stripper on that. Paint stripper on that. Wheels. Now I can get these. I don't know. I've got to straighten this. Oh, here he comes. Look. The beast. Yeah, I'll get this off here now. Now I can. The draw bar. Right, so that's it then. Oh mate, he's gonna have to stay on there. That looks ah, there is a little rivet in there, but do I bother taking it out or not? Do I go to that length of taking it out or don't I? I don't think I bother I can I paint him on there? I'll see. I'll think about that one. I'll strip it first and I'll think about it. I'll get it all stripped. And if I need to take that out, I will. But I might be able to paint him, back, legs. Yeah, I could do that. Horace. There you go. Hungry Horace. Yeah. There's Hungry Horace. That's his name. Don't forget, Hungry Horace. I'm going to have to write a book and list of all the names of these guys I'm calling. I'll just get all mixed up. All right. Hungry Horace. In you go, mate. So we'll clear the bench of all this rubbish and uh, we'll get the caustic soda out. Yeah, I went ahead and took the driver out. I decided, yeah, that <coughs> was a bloody mission, no, I'll tell you. Um, you have to take the steering wheel out as well because the, the driver, as all of them, got a, a pin on one foot on his backside. It goes in the hole in there. And then the steering wheel has to go in as well. So in order to get him out completely, you've got to uh, take the steering wheel out, which is in this hole here. And there's a, like a, they've soldered or done something round there, what connects the two together. So I have to grind all that lot off to get this out. So it's out now. So that's all in there, all in there. Right, that's all the drilling. And everything else I'm going to be doing. Like I say, I'm going to leave that in there. You can, I presume, if you wanted to. There's a rivet there. And I'll probably take this bar off here. But I don't think there's any point of doing that. To be honest with you. So, there we go. Stripping time. That's it in caustic soda time again. This time, we're on the uh, dumper truck. For the beef eater build, kettle's just boiled. 
pour some water in. Sort of splash it about a bit here. So pretty much fill that up, I think. Put the fan on. I need the fan on. Right, here we go. Got the wheels, the man, the seat, everything's in here. So we'll see how we get on with that. Turning a funny colour. Oh yeah. That's where it should come off straight away, that look. Bit of a rubber dub dub. She's coming off. Lovely jubbly. That's that bit. Oh yeah, look at that. Excellent. That's what we need. Well done. Here we go. We'll call that one done, that bit. Look at that. Clean. Clean as a whistle. Put that in there. Cleaning tank, let's see how we're getting on down here. What's in here? Horace. Horace is nice and clean. Here we go. Oh, this is going to be a good one. Yeah, the wheels are coming off nicely. Yeah, they'll do. So, I would say this is just about bang on there's a few little bits not a lot not a lot not a lot coming off There you go. Right, let's get this out of here then. Right, a little bit on the back there. It's all dark. Okay. Apart from the odds and sods in here, we will um, get them out and then we'll get it all cleaned up and I'll see you on the bench when we uh, start cleaning it up. That's it out of the stripper, the old uh, mill dumper. Pretty good paint removal on this one, a little bit there, sort that out. Uh, yeah, so we're pretty good. Good for a clean up now. Wheels come off all right. Old Horace, he's sorted. Banging. And the seat. So we'll get them cleaned up. I've got my wizard. Wizard. Note wizard, not Dremel. Right, what we're going to say. I've been out shopping with the boss this morning. And I've called in at Alfred's, and look at these, at £3 a tin. Yeah, they're knocking some of these off at £3 a tin. So I just randomly grabbed a load what I thought would be handy. Sand glow. That's 
metallic spray. And these are big ones and all. Well, I think these are, what, 300 mil. So, pretty pleased with them. Got a blue. Jupiter spray paint. I could use all these on non-Pacifics. And there's a white. You always need white, don't you? Hey. So, yeah, I've got these. A three pound a pop. That was pretty good. I think the bloke, when I bought them, looked as if I was going to go graffiti and, you know, tagging. So I've got those. So they'll probably be sorted out. And the other thing I was talking about, well, we've got a minute, frog tape. I bought this. I haven't used it yet, so I'm going to demo this in a video, a separate video. I'm going to demo this. I don't know if anyone else has used this. I saw somebody using this, and they were doing a two-tone, and it, and it was working. I thought, oh. And this is for uh, delicate surfaces. So, and you get, there's 40 metres here, look, over 40 metres. So that's not bad for about just over a fiver. Five or six quid, I think it was. Let me just open it up. It's a bit bugger to get in and out, but we'll have a look. There you go. That's the stuff. The red has got this paint technology for the edges or something. Yeah. So you can do, so I'm going to do this, I'm going to do a separate demo on this frog tape. Yeah, yeah look, paint block technology. It's supposed to stop bleed throughs and things, but we'll try it. I'll get some, um, an old casting, or, or a piece of metal, and we'll prime it, and we'll paint it, and we'll try it. That'll be a separate video, a short video. Okay, right, back on, back on the job. Right. Let's have a go at this thing. Let's get these bits out and see what we got. Should be straightforward. Like I say, I won't do it all on camera. It takes too long. And it's too noisy. So. Here we go. Yeah, that's coming up. There's a lot of awkward nooks and crannies to get into here so I've got different types of bits I use worn down ones, old ones like these ones here yeah. they'll get in all these little corners I always keep them, don't throw them away I still haven't managed to get any abrasive wheels yet I'll, I'll keep meaning to but yeah so we're getting here Clean all this lot up. This is my last flat wheel. So I'll do what I can with this and then move on. In pretty good condition this one actually. Really good. Yeah. Well, I'll carry on with this off camera and I'll catch you when it's all done. Cleaned at last. Took me a while to get in there and get it done. All the nooks and crannies. But we've done it. It's really got to shine on it now. Yeah, I've got all the wheels and everything else in here. So now, I shall do the axles in my drill. So now, it's primer time. So I'm going to get some primer on this. And uh, I'm going to paint the... Uh, yeah, I'll get some primer on here. Then I'll paint the base plate. And then I'll mask off the base plate. It shouldn't be hard. Okay. And I'll get back to you when it's primed. Right, okay. Uh, all the body and that is primed over there. Just going to show you this. I have demoed this before uh, on a previous video. But to do, I found to do these inserts and these these ones anyway, these metal ones. I've got this, what I got from a cheap old stationery shop. It gives me the tyre sizes. You see me use it on tyre sizes. But I also use it for this. So I mask off, find out the wheel that I want, the internal, and I mask around that to stop it from ruining my thing. 
and then if you can see I'll put it over you've got to get it right put it over like that and then give it the old spray there you go look at that job done isn't it and the beauty of this bin as well you can if you want to just clean off around that the edge but I prime these and I'll paint it red using this this method okay so I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of them and when it comes to doing the reds I'll uh we can see that because that white's in the way and it's kiss you down white yeah I'll we hurry up yeah all right okay i'll carry on with the rest of them all right they're all done front backs on these smaller wheels because they're the steerable ones so they're done good enough and it just want a quick flash don't enough it much and as you've seen i've done both the uh both the backhands so I'll let them dry. Okay. Right. We'll catch you when the primer's dry. Okay then. Primed. Come out quite nice. So. I'm going to get the black on here first. Then I can mask all this black up and then. Paint the yellow. So that's where we're at now. So I'm going to get this. Oh, excuse me. Get the black paint on this bottom bit. Let that dry. Then mask it off. And we'll get on with the yellow. Okay then. Let's get some yellow down on this. I masked off the base plate after painting. We'll put on the fan. I'm just using the same yellow I they use on the Gents and the 151. It's not a bad colour yellow. I've got the heater on. So let's go. Give it some light coats as usual. You know, the form. Getting all the bits. This can's nearly empty, so I'm going to use it on the on the bits in the middle. Yeah, that's shot. Yeah, you don't get a lot of these El Cheapo paints. You don't get a great deal in there. I think that'll do for that. Don't flood it, do we? Now we'll do the, the bucket. Keep a bit of a distance when I'm doing these sort of things because there's, like I say, a lot of angles. If you get too close, you'll flood out the angles. Does that make sense? I'll just give it a light coat. 
and I'll come back and hit it when it's settled. All right? So there we have it. Oh, hang on a minute. I'll do that in there, look. Tell you what, this stuff stinks. Yeah, so I'll let that dry off over the heater and we'll see how we get on. We will. Okay, so I'll catch you in a minute. Assembly time. Right, last time I see you, I was painting it all yellow and lacquered it. Okay, you've seen the wheels. I've done the wheels. They've come up all right. Um, there's old uh, Oris. He's in there. I've put him steering wheel back in and everything else. So he's good to go. Got a bit of hair at the back there. Dark hair, boy. Um, front bucket. All lacquered up, ready to go. I have done some details on the front of this. I found a image of a restored one of these. And uh, they had number plate on the front. Had this on it. So they're the two, the two front lights. And that's like the horn in the middle. Okay, so it's all done. Ready to go. It's glaring a bit in the camera, but... Here we go. So, let's see about reassembling this then. I think we'll stick the, uh, need to clear a bit of space here. Need to clear a bit of space. Um, right. I think we'll put the front bucket on first, the bucket or what have you. This goes on. Like so, I think it'd be have to do this one. A bit cack handed this morning, boys. Excuse me. It's first thing in the morning. I'm not quite awake yet. Well, I am, but you know what I mean. You know, it's like first thing. You're always a little bit cack handed. Push that through there. And okay. Now this was a a twist, so let's have a look, see if I can put a bit of purchase on this. Oh, down to it, not with that. Squeeze it a bit better. Go on, boy, squeeze. Okay. Well, we got that on. Axles. Right, oh, I thought for a minute, I thought, no, they ain't going to the back, these go on the back. So, slide them through. Slide the wheel on. There we go, we got that. Right, what we need now to do is uh, peeing these over. So what I'm going to do, because it's going to be tricky to hold all this together while I peen it over, I'm just going to show you. What it's going to be like. Oh boy, find the hole. There you go. That's it. One. Two. All right, so that's what uh, come on, get that in there, come on, fella. That's what she'd be like. So now I'm going to peen these over, and I'll get back to you when we put in the driver in. Okay. Because obviously with this flapping about and the wheels and everything else, it's going to be awkward. Okay? So I'll come back in a second. Okay, that's the axles peened over. And uh, I'll put the rivet in. So that's that's done. Wait that dry off, then we'll tip it over and we'll put the driver and that in. Yeah? 
So I'll give that a few minutes to dry off. Yeah, they're a bit tricky, that, because the bloody bucket kept opening and shutting, and you had to put the bucket on first. And uh, they're a bit tricky, that, so sometimes it's easier to do it off camera, especially with these sort of things. So, yeah, that's that done now. So give it a minute, and then we'll tip it over, and we'll stick the driver in. Okay, let's get old Horace in then. Yeah, he just sits through the hole in there. In through there. You have to twist the back axle out of the way. Put your spring in. Put your spring. Take three. Put your bloody spring in. There you go, got it in. Okay. I don't know if it'll sit on his head. Yeah, he probably will. Put your spring in. Put your washer on. A sit a super duper. Just a tad. Done that wrong, chaps. The super duper supposed to go on the top of that spring there. Look, a bit in the hole, a bit on there. Drop that in and drop in your Riviart. Oh, I'm all fingers and thumbs this morning. There you go. Turn that back. That's it. We're done. We are done. Beef eater challenge completed. Oh, hang on a minute. I've got a little bit of... A little bit of red paint on there, look. Didn't notice that. And a bit on that side, look. That's it. Right, can't have mucky tyres, can you, Oris? There she is. Completed. There you are, and he turns around. All right. I don't know why he turns around, but he does. Open the bucket, front and back. Right, let's get it on the magic roundabout then. And we'll put a load on it. This is what we started with. Dinky Toys Mule Hill Dumper. Got a big model, this one. Play worn. This is what we started with. Okay, chaps, here we go. On the magic roundabout, the Mule Hill Dumper by Dinky. It's got a load of sand on. And we've got a bit of detail coming round now on the front because these were road legal. So it's got the number plate on there. Lights and stuff. There you go. There's old Oris driving it. It's got his load of sand on. Towing hook. Everything else. That's it. That's the Beef Eater Challenge construction. Bob the Builder. Quite a nice build, this one. There you go. Right, I'm going to do a couple of outside shots now. It's not the greatest of days, but I'm going to do a couple of outside shots. So don't run away. And this is Oris without his load on. And he's facing the uh, right way. I'd him facing the other way when just to show you that you can see his load basically twist round in the chair. 
the chair swivels round. That's the general idea of it. The chair will swivel round so you can see what he's unloading. So that's why in the early one I had him facing the other way. Now he's got an empty load. He's off to get some more. Well, thanks for watching the video and looking at the outside shots. It's much appreciated. And we'll see you on the next build.